something good is at the Goodwill. Go to the Goodwill and find the treasure. All right, hello, hello, my friends. This is Marsha B at Busy B MKT, and I am so excited today to get to share with you my recent haul from the Goodwill. All of the cool stuff I found at the Goodwill. I'm gonna show it to you today, and I'm gonna tell you why I bought it and why it's special, and yay, I can't wait. All right, so this particular trip to my local Goodwill Superstore um, was brought on by The Tangle. Now, if you haven't watched one of my other videos, you don't know about The Tangle. The Tangle is my spidey sense that says, something good is at the Goodwill. Go to the Goodwill and find the treasure. So. I listened to the voice and I headed to the Goodwill and the very first thing I found was the reason that I was sent by the Tingle to go to the Goodwill. And I'm gonna show you what it is. Fiesta wear. I love Fiesta wear. I always have left Fiesta wear. I, I don't know. It is something that gives me joy, so much joy. And what's extra special about this particular piece of Fiesta wear is that, oh, this is top secret. This is top secret information. I have found some pink Fiesta wear to gift to my daughter. Christmas. She doesn't know about it, so don't tell her, okay? She loves Fiesta wear. She's starting to collect things for her own home, and pink is her favorite color, and so I found her some pink Fiesta wear teacups and saucers, and when I walked into the Goodwill and I saw this, I literally almost cried because it matches everything else I got for her and now she has the teapot to go with it. I love it so much. All right, so I left the tape on here just to show you that this is usually what the Goodwill does um, if, if the lid is still intact with the teapot. Um, they'll tape it down just to make sure that it doesn't get lost or broken. And while I appreciate that, sometimes, unfortunately, the tape will damage, especially if the item has been painted. So just be really, really careful about that. Um, I'm gonna show you the bottom. I paid $4.99 for this Fiesta, beautiful Fiesta teapot. Now I'm gonna try to take the tag off. Man, these tags are a booger. So it is hard to get the tags off. Um, I usually just fill my sink full of soapy water and just let the thing set in there for a little while until the the glue on the back of the sticker, sticker dissolves to make it easier to get the sticker off. But what I was gonna show you on the bottom was the Fiesta um, marking on there. However, not every piece of Fiesta, I have discovered, not every piece of Fiesta has a mark on the bottom. So you just kind of got to know its shape, its style. Um, it always has these ridges on it. If it has a handle, the handle is usually round like this with ridges. Um, it's just, I don't know, look up some stuff. Now, the one tricky thing about Fiesta that a lot of people get confused about is old Fiesta versus new Fiesta. So Fiesta started being made I think in the 50s, but it may have started as early as the 40s. I don't really know. Um, but they are still making Fiesta now. You can purchase it at Macy's, I believe, at Dillard's. You can get the newer stuff. Um, and so how do you tell if it's new or how you tell if it's old? Truth be told, I don't really care um, because I use it for myself. I use it for personal um, home use and so I don't care if it's the old stuff or the new stuff I just know what I love and I know I love the colors and I know I love the shape of it and um, in fact when I got married back in the 90s instead of registering for China I wanted Fiesta wear because I was like 
that's what I want to use. And so if you ever come to dinner at my house, the way that we do it is we just mix and match all of the different colors and where you sit at the table is based on um, which color plate you want to use for the evening. And mine is always red. Just so you know that, the red plate is always mine. <laughs> so anyway, I just love that my daughter is kind of carrying on the tradition and wants to have the fiesta in her life as well. And I'm more than thrilled that I'm going to get to surprise her with this awesome teapot for Christmas for only, oops, I made a big mess of it, $4.99, which is really, really good. So the tingle was kind to me on this item in particular. Very excited about that. All right, and so right next to the Fiesta teapot in all of its glory was another teapot that I found, and this is it right here. And it says hand-painted, I can't read that. Oh, I gotta get my eyes checked again. It's bad when your bifocals aren't enough, y'all. Don't get me started. Okay, anyway, it says hand-painted, and I just loved the little snuggly kittens. Look how cute they are. And they got a little bird friend with his little tracks. And then on the back, it says Christmas cheer. And it's got a bird and some trees. And the lid is intact. And it is not chipped. And it's not broken. A lot of times on teapots, double check the lid and double check the spout right here is usually, if chips are gonna occur, that's where they're gonna occur. But this thing was beautiful. And so I flipped it over. It does have a new tag on it, but you know what? I did not care because it was super cute. Um, Wittered, it says Wittered um, Winter Wonderland Collection. I don't know if you can see that. There's still sticky glue mess on there. And it's hand painted. It's got a little bird, it's so cute. Okay, so again, I paid $4.99 for that, but how precious is that to use to um, serve hot cocoa or whatever? I just thought this was precious. So again, the tingle led me in the right direction for that. Okay, so after I looked at the teapots and calmed myself after finding the Fiesta teapot, I looked at all the other shelves, I was looking at all the other stuff, and I ended up over by the mugs. Now at my Goodwill, I think every mug is 89 cents. I'm pretty sure it's either 89 or 99 cents for every mug. I think they just don't want to price them all. So they're like mugs, 89, 99 cents. So uh, I always look at the mugs because you don't ever know what you're going to find. And I started out with this cutie pie in everything gift thanks. I just thought she was stinking adorable. She reminds me a little bit of those Hummel, those little Hummel kids. She's just so cute. And the little bluebirds, oh my goodness. And then it's got give thanks to the Lord for he is good on the back. And here she is up an apple tree with some squirrels. Precious. So cute. So I turn it over. Hallmark mugs and then it has a date of 1984 so it is considered vintage anything anything 20 years old or older is considered vintage which is hard for me to swallow knowing that things that were made in 2001 are now considered vintage it hurts a little people it hurts a little but i just thought she was stinking adorable so um i just took her now She's not for anybody in particular, um, so I'm following my rules. Is she gonna be used on, on a set for my play, for my job? No. Is she gonna be gifted to somebody? I don't really have anybody particular in mind to give her to, so she is going to be listed either in my Etsy shop or on eBay. Um, but in the back of my mind, I was like, but if she doesn't sell, I can just drink my hot tea out of her, but that is a dangerous mindset have a goal in mind for her future destination. And so I hope somebody will love her as much as I do and bid on her and want her to be in their home because I just thought she was super cute. Um, after I put her in my buggy, later on, before I checked out, I looked her up in comps on eBay 
and I believe that the last one like her that sold was around $14. So not too bad, not too shabby. All right, so she was super cute. And then while it was still in the mugs, the 89, I'm gonna check my receipt. Are they 89 or 99? 89, they're 89 cents a piece, the mugs, 89 cents a piece. Got my receipt, my Goodwill receipt right here. Um, while I was checking the mugs, I saw another one by itself down on the bottom shelf. America the Beautiful. And I'm a patriotic girl, so I thought this was a lovely mug and it's really chunky and I liked the chunkiness of it. So I picked it up and I saw America the Beautiful and said, oh, I'm gonna get that. And then I turned it around and on the back side it says Waffle House 2012, which is totally awesome. And I don't know, you're probably seeing this backwards on the video, but that's what it says. Waffle, Waffle House 2012. And I thought, well, that's, that's very specific. That's, that's kind of crazy, but I still, I really loved the graphic on this side. So I went ahead and decided I'm going to buy it. Um, again, I know my husband loves America and I know he loves coffee. So worst case scenario, Alan gets to use this mug. But then I looked it up and again, the comps for this mug that have sold on eBay were around $14. And I was like, what? So who knew, who knew, but I was drawn to it. And so I was pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, so before I left, they had just wheeled out some new buggies and they'll do that from time to time as they're restocking the shelves. Um, some Goodwills will let you pilfer in the buggies um, before they get the shelves stocked. Um, sometimes the Goodwills will slap your hands and not want you to dig in the buggy. So you just kind of got to fill that out and ask some questions. I mean, that's how you learn, right? Ask some questions. Um, but in the buggies, I found this piece of um, turned wood. Um, it had a signature of sorts on the bottom. Um, it doesn't really look like a price. I, I can't really, I can't 100% make out what it says, but I knew it wasn't from a store because it's, it's a little rough on the bottom, so you can tell that somebody hand turned that. I paid $2.99 for this. The, the top was taped with their lovely packing tape that they always use, and so um, I took the tape off and I looked inside and I found inside a bunch of wooden coasters. So I thought that that was, that's pretty cool. And one thing I love about wood is it's very difficult to break it, number one. And number two, it kind of goes with everything. Like this could go in a farmhouse decor. This could go in, and it's simple line, so it could even be a modern piece. I don't know. I just, I just thought it was kind of cool. So, um, this will go up on eBay or Etsy and I'll see if somebody else is interested in it. So that was my haul from the Goodwill. Um, the pink Fiesta teapot, the kitty cat um, teapot, the cute little Hummel-like girl mug, and the Waffle House commemorative America mug, and my wooden bowl of um, coasters. So my total, where'd I put the receipt? Where'd I put it? Here it is on the, fell on the floor. Um, my total, for that shopping trip was $16. And um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I mean, even if I don't sell the other things, even if I end up keeping the other things, just the gift for Esther alone is, you know, I could not have purchased that um, new for $16. So all around a win. A win, a win, a win. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see the treasures that I found at my local Goodwill. This was on a Sunday afternoon that I went shopping. So I was actually kind of surprised that there was still treasure there to be found after a busy weekend, but you just never know. And I'm super glad that I paid attention to the tingle. See you next time.